Pantheil. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. How are you all today? How is lunch? Oh, if when I hear good, it means not so good. Because if it's really good, it should be mm. uh, But the, good, the, the lunch is good. Huh? Uh, a few, uh, a while back I was uh, informed, uh, I was invited to say a few words today. And I was like, oh no, I have to say a few words. Then that's not Bhante told me that I cannot use one word, one phrase. Bhante Dhamma <laughs> uh, I, I thought over the past few days what, what I should share. You know? uh, after all, I think many of you know Bhante more than me. Yeah. Uh, I feel very privileged to be invited uh, here. Uh, even more privileged and very thankful and grateful to have spent four years in the Buddhist library uh, under uh, Bhante Dhamma Ratana, learning from him. Uh, as in the Chinese words we say, Yan Yan Jiao Bu Shen Jiao. Yeah, it means um, that teaching through words is not better than teaching through your actions. Yeah. Then when you learn from someone, you can learn from someone speaking, but you can also learn from that person's actions. And I'm very thankful and privileged to have had the opportunity to um, uh, literally live in the same place with Bante and see through his actions. But so if I were to share the four years, then we would have dinner. So I, I thought um, I perhaps can share just a few things. Um, and this is in no way exhaustive at all. Uh, but so here goes. Uh, three incidents. Yeah, so I leave the lo the longer stories to the book. Uh, but I I when I think about Bhante, there are three incidences that really touch me. But uh, the first is about uh, compassion. Uh, his compassion and understanding for others. So there was one day, I was going to uh, go out for a talk, and it was about 6 plus, about maybe 6.15, yeah, close to 6.30. And I was then uh, ready, going down, and I saw Bante sitting by himself uh, near the front of the library, yeah, just behind the counter. And he was just very unassumingly sitting there by himself, with his back, so I, I thought, okay, you know, so I went over and greeted him and asked, like, Mante, you going out? And he said, yes, yes, I'm going out for a talk. And I was like, do you need help with transport? And he said, no, 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 they have a rage. So I thought, um, I asked him, like, what time are they coming? So they said, he said, oh, they're supposed to be here at 6. I was like, huh? It's already 6.15, where are they? And, and Bhante, without raising a, you know, an idea, just going like, no, 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 traffic, yeah, peak hour. He knows Singapore very well. <laughs> but even more importantly, we all know Singapore, we are Singaporeans. But sometimes, even I, I find myself not being so understanding. You know, Bhante being a senior, you know, he come down and wait for them. And they were late. And yet he was like, yes, no, it's okay, you know. And so from there, I, I learned about compassion and understanding. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not a very good student, huh? so I'm still you know, not so patient, not so understanding it. Um, but besides that, what else can I share with you all? Um, if I were to... Uh, that's one thing that I observe for myself, which I'm sure many of you know, yeah, is that Whenever Bante is in Singapore, without fail, rain or shine, he will be there on Sunday morning. What time? Uh, all gone in the food rain. What time on Sunday morning? Uh, I know, some of you disappear for a while, huh? <laughs> yeah, at 10. 10 a.m. without fail. And he, he don't put on air, he don't wait upstairs and, oh, you must come and invite, you know. He just come down. Yeah, and sometimes, when I was staying in, in, in Diao, sometimes I go down there and he's ready, you know, at the, at the, at the classroom site waiting for everybody to be ready. Yeah. So wait on time and he would be there. Day by day, week by week, without fail. Yeah. And the third, third floor, third floor ladies, yeah, the Nanti Mitalo, 
and from their from their own words, they share with me how they see Bante, Bante's dedication, their perseverance, effort throughout the whole year. Whenever it's in town, there are no break. There are no break. Uh, even on Mondays, uh, the Monday, Mother's Day lunch, sometimes there'll be puja in the morning, then go over for, for the lunch. Yeah. And so, for, for all these years, sometimes the volunteers uh, who, who help to organize events with me, they're like, Sifu, we need a break. Then I tell them about Bante. I tell them about how, hey, Bante, you know, now 18, but in the past 17 plus, he has so much energy, we must learn from him. Yeah. So, uh, the last thing, this is the first time I actually write down something, you know, because I'm afraid I, I forget, you know. <laughs> Usually I just talk, you know. Today I actually write down, make sure I don't miss out any point. The last point I want to share is about his Bante's openness. Yeah. Bante is as, uh, in terms of his training, his, his uh, monastic training, is as Theravada as it gets. But yet, in my heart, he's as Mahayana as it gets. Some people ask me, what is the difference between Theravada and Mahayana? In my opinion, it's not about the teachings. It's not about uh, what we say. It's not about the, the, the robes that we wear. But it's the mindset. It's the heart, that openness, to embrace every tradition of the Buddha's teaching. And so, just not good Bhante say for himself. Yeah, he want to share Buddha Dharma, not Sri Lankan uh, Buddhism. And then I say so, I I feel so much when Bhante say that because it's uh, too, too senior, <laughs> too senior from the Chinese Mahayana tradition. <laughs> Palan Pasu was my teacher for meditation years back. Uh. Yeah. But I think they would agree that the same goes for Chinese Mahayana tradition. <laughs> Although we say that we are Mahayana, but when we go to other countries, we are sometimes caught up with bringing the Chinese tradition that actually Buddha Dharma. So um, this is the, the one thing that really touched me, his openness. The Buddhist library is as non-sectarian as it gets. Yeah. Uh, which temple have uh, Theravada and Mahayana uh, monastics staying together? And which center is so open yeah, to uh, to speakers from different traditions to come and share and learn together and practice together? So I want to thank Bante for uh, his his time with us. I want to thank the opportunity to have stayed in the Buddhist library and to learn. And until now, Bante has so openly opened up for uh, myself and the Sapusa group, the SGC group, to use the facilities. Yeah. Uh, in his in his I in, in uh, Bhante's own words uh, he said when I asked him Bhante uh, can, can we have classes here you know what Bhante said every day all the time <laughs> yeah. thank you Bhante happy birthday